This is the mysterious incident that happened to a group of nine hikers who went on an exploration hike in 1959 and what happened to them on a fateful night. So, buckle up. Let's go deep into their story. The leader of the group, Igor Dyatlov, was a seasoned hiker with experience leading expeditions in the Ural Mountains. He had assembled a team of eight others who shared his love for adventure and the great outdoors, and they had been planning their expedition to the remote Kolat Syakl region for months. They were all students or recent graduates of the Ural Polytechnic Institute in the city of Sverdlovsk in Russia, and were members of the university's hiking and skiing club. Their goal was to reach the summit of Otorin, a challenging mountain route that had never been conquered in the winter. The team spent weeks preparing for the expedition, carefully selecting their equipment, and studying the terrain and weather patterns of the region. Finally, in late January 1959, the team set out from the town of Viji, located at the base of the Kolat Syak Range. They hiked for several days, encountering challenging weather conditions and difficult terrain along the way. However, they remained determined to reach their destination and conquer the Otorden summit. On February 1st, the team established their campsite on the slopes of Kolat Syakal, at a location that would later become known as the Diet Love Pass. It was here that the mysterious incident occurred, which would forever change the course of the team's expedition and leave a lasting mark on the world's imagination. The team never returned on the scheduled date, so the suspicions were made. The rescue team arrived at the Diet Love Pass on February 26, 1959, almost a week after the hikers expected return date of February 12. The delay was partly due to bad weather conditions and partly due to the fact that the hikers' families did not immediately raise the alarm, as they thought it was normal for the group to be delayed by a few days. It was only when the group failed to return on February 20th that a search party was organized, and the hikers' tent was eventually found on February 26. When the rescue team arrived at the camping site of the Diet Love hiking team, they found a scene that left them baffled and disturbed. The hikers' tent was partially collapsed, with its sides ripped open from the inside, as if something had torn its way out. All of the hikers' belongings, including their shoes, warm clothing, and food supplies, were still inside the tent. This was strange, as the hikers had clearly left in a hurry, without taking anything with them. As the rescue team searched the area, they discovered footprints leading away from the tent, in the direction of a nearby grove of trees. These footprints showed that some of the hikers had been barefoot, despite the freezing temperatures. As the search continued, the rescue team discovered the first bodies of the hikers. They were located about 1.5 kilometers away from the tent, in a ravine that was later named Dead Mountain. The bodies were partially dressed, and some had suffered severe injuries, including a fractured skull and broken ribs. Over the next few days, the remaining bodies were discovered scattered throughout the area some of them buried under several meters of snow. One of the most bizarre findings was that one of the hikers was missing her tongue, which had been removed post-mortem. The rescue team was shocked by the scene they found and struggled to come up with an explanation for what had happened to the hikers. The incident would go on to become one of the most famous and solved mysteries of the 20th century with numerous theories and speculations about the cause of the tragedy. The hikers' diaries and photographs document their experiences leading up to the incident, including the weather conditions they encountered, their daily routines, and their thoughts and feelings about the expedition. However, they do not provide any clear explanation for why the hikers left their tent in a panic state or what caused their deaths. The scene that the rescue team discovered at the Diet Loft Pass camping site aroused many suspicions and theories about what had happened to the hikers. One of the most baffling aspects of the scene was the fact that the hikers had left their tent in hurry, 
without taking their warm clothing or supplies with them. This suggested that they had been forced to flee their campsite in a state of panic. The tent itself was also a source of suspicion, as it had been ripped open from the inside, as if the hikers were desperately trying to escape something. Furthermore, the fact that some of the hikers were barefoot, despite the freezing temperatures, suggested that they had fled their tent in a state of extreme distress. The injuries sustained by the hikers were also a source of suspicion, as some of them had suffered severe injuries that were difficult to explain. For example, one of the hikers had a fractured skull, while others had broken ribs and other internal injuries. These injuries were inconsistent with a typical hiking accident and suggested that the hikers had been subjected to extreme violence. Finally, the fact that one of the hikers was missing her tongue was a particularly bizarre and disturbing detail. It suggested that the hikers had been subjected to some form of brutality or torture and raised many questions about who or what could have caused such horrific injuries. All of these suspicions and details added to the mystery of the Diet Lov Pass incident and fueled numerous theories and speculations about what had happened to the hikers. When news of the Diet Lov Pass incident first broke in February 1959, it quickly became a sensation in the media all over the world. The strange and disturbing circumstances of the hikers' deaths captured the public's imagination and sparked widespread interest and in speculation. Newspapers and news outlets all over the world reported on the incident, with many of them using sensational headlines and dramatic language to describe the scene. Some news reports suggested that the hikers had been attacked by a yeti or other mysterious creature while others speculated that they had been the victims of a Soviet government conspiracy. The media coverage of the Diet Lov Pass incident helped to fuel public interest in the mystery and inspired numerous conspiracy theories and speculative explanations. Even today, more than 60 years after the incident, it remains one of the most enduring and fascinating unsolved mysteries of the 20th century. While the true cause of the Diet Lov Pass incident may never be known for certain, the mystery surrounding the hikers' deaths continues to capture the public's imagination and inspire speculation and debate. Despite numerous investigations and inquiries, no conclusive evidence has ever been found to explain what happened to the hikers on that fateful night in February 1959. Theories and speculations abound, ranging from natural disasters to supernatural forces, but no one theory has ever been proven to be the definitive explanation. In the end, the Diet Law of Pass incident remains a haunting and enigmatic puzzle, one that has captivated and confounded investigators and armchair sleuths for over six decades. It serves as a reminder of the enduring power of mystery and the limits of human understanding, a testament to the unexplainable and unknowable aspects of the world we live in.